Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get internet in GNS3. So I, op I opened up GNS3 here, I started a new project. What you're going to do is you're going to drag NAT, and I'm going to run it on my PC. You're going to take this VC PC, and I'm going to run it also on Amanda PC. And then I'm going to look for routers, and I'm going to choose Cisco IOU, which is running on Linux. I've tried C7. 200. Uh, it's been buggy. I tried the Cisco 2600. That's also buggy. Uh, the 1000V that has a rate limit, so you need a license. So I've, I've had the most success with the Cisco IOU. So I'm gonna start these two and then hook everything up. So Ethernet 00 to the VPC and then Ethernet 1.1 to the NAT cloud. I'm going to open up the console. Alright, and for the IP addresses, I'm just going to use 192.168.1.5. For this interface of 00, I'm going to use 1.1. 1 .1. And over here, we're going to use DHCP. Alright, so I'm going to do IP 192.168.1.524, and then set the default gateway. And that should be good. And then if I go to the This is go out of here. I'm going to go comp t interface e00 IP address. And I'm going to do IP NAT inside. I'm going to do no shut. I'm going to exit. And then I'm going to do an access list of 9 permit of that internal IP address and then you use wildcard bits for an access list and then I'm going to do IP NAT source list 9 interface ethernet 1 over 1 where we're getting internet 1 and then I do overload and then I'm going to go into the actual ethernet 1 1 interface and I'm going to do IP address DHCP IP NAT outside and then I'm going to do no shut. So we're going to see that the Ethernet 1.1 is up, but if we wait a little longer, we're going to see that we get an IP address. Yep, so we got 192.168.200.145. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do ping 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. We get a ping from the router, and then we need to check the PC. So first I'm going to ping the default gateway, which we get, and then I'm going to ping the internet, which we get. And it's around, you know, 28, 22, 23. Um, if you use the C7200, it's going to be, you know, 100, 150 timeouts, duplicate pack. Oh, speaking of that, I've gotten duplicate packets. Uh, when using either this or that or the generic switch. Yeah, this Ethernet switch right here. Um, so I highly recommend using the Cisco IOU running on Linux for virtualization or you're going to be running into dupe packets. So, yep, this is these are the commands to get Internet. All right.